Hi everyone! I wanted to do a video about the birds in our backyard. I'm going to cover some things like the hummingbird feeders and the syrup, syrup that I make and cleaning and then I'm going to insert some footage of the amazing hummingbirds that we have as well as some of the other birds that we have. So first of all, my syrup that I make is simply one cup of sugar to four cups of water. Boil it to dissolve the sugar and if you have any leftover, store the syrup in a sealed container in the fridge. I do not fill these too full, especially in the summertime, because you want the uh, syrup fresh, clean, and you don't want it growing the black mold. The black mold is death to hummingbirds, and you really need to be careful of that, which brings me to the cleaning. You want to be able to use a brush and clean every part that you can with that brush. I also use a diluted water and bleach. You only need a teaspoon or two of bleach in the water, but I let the parts all soak in that. Rinse it off very well. It doesn't bother the birds at all. If you don't like that, you can use vinegar. I find in our hot sun, this mold can grow very quickly. So for me, I need to use the bleach and that works well to keep the containers clean. Like I said, I don't fill them up too much. Um, I would say four or five days I'm refilling them, something like that. And we have a lot of bird activities, so they go through them pretty quickly. I'm going to show you some of the different feeders that we have, and I'll start with this one. I get all kinds of questions about it. This is simply the bottom part, which is the flower, which is the feeder. You put that on to a wine bottle and voila, you have a hummingbird feeder. Now Mark has rigged this up because I was paranoid it was going to fall and he used a coat hanger and really sealed it up tight. You cannot do that. We haven't had any problems with it falling, so next one I get, I probably would just put it on as per usual. I really like this kind that has the wide mouth opening on it because it's really easy to fill. You don't need a funnel and it's really easy to clean. It comes apart in a really nice way to clean. And then finally, I have this other one that is really easy to clean because it opens right up. This is a wonderful design. Believe it or not, the reservoir holds a whole lot more than you think. And this definitely lasts. At first, the hummingbirds didn't like it because they can see each other across the top, but they've gotten used to it and it's great. They're all very territorial. <laughs> They're funny little guys to watch. Finally is the bird feeder that we have. I love this bird feeder. Mark ordered it off of Amazon and I'll put a link below. This fills up and the more food that we have, we seem to attract different types of birds. Initially, we just get doves, but because this one fills up so much, we can get so many different types of birds. When I'm filming, I frequently feel and hear the hummingbirds, that little squeak that you hear in the trees, that's the hummingbirds. They're all around me in this tree. We love coming out here and watching the hummingbirds and one just went by. <laughs> They're everywhere and we encourage that. We love sitting here at happy hour, we call it, when we come outside before dinner. Ozzy gets a bone and we sit and watch these hummingbirds. There's so much character how they fight. They sit in the palm trees and they scare off the other ones. It's really comical and entertaining. So now I'm going to put in some footage of the various birds that we have in our yard and I am going to include one clip where I had the patients at our old yard to hand feed the hummingbirds.
thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this and it was entertaining. I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you next time.